It was fast. There was a scuffle at the door. They shot into the heart of our number. There were thousands of men marching in formation. An army of insurgents armed with pikes, guns, and mandrels. They did deliberately seek to fire upon brave soldiers of Her Majesty. Our cause is just, the purpose of our charter clear. Equal rights for all men and the abolition of corrupt government. We require justice, Kavyander. Firstly, there must be votes for all men equally, not just those born into wealth. In the same vein, there will be a secret ballot to protect men in their vote. Under current legislation, it is required for MPs to own land. Abolition of this will enable all men to stand for office, rich or poor. Wages for MPs will allow the working man to serve his people. Lastly, equal constituencies and annual general elections will end bribery, intimidation and corruption. These are the fundamental building materials of a fair society. The Chartists are a dangerous breed like all would-be revolutionaries. We only have to look to France. A successful revolution on our own doorstep. The Chartists' intent can be judged by their own action. An unlawful invasion of Newport. An invasion it was not. We marched only to free our noble brothers who were unlawfully imprisoned, Vincent amongst them. A name for whom many did march. Their only crime. A belief in justice and fairness. They sought out and did deliberately bear arms against soldiers of Her Majesty at the Westgate Hotel. A crime of high treason. The crime of high treason is calculated to subvert the authority of Her Majesty and the law and foundation of all government. The crime of high treason has always been regarded by the law of the country as an offence above all others and calling for the severest measure of punishment that of the sentence of death. A man for the people is all I have ever been. The men of the jury will decide what happens next. My fate now lies in their hands. My nangadi and he dwell on who. <laughs>